goodness, what a what a fun trip to 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 get to cover and to be a fly on the wall. What what do you think they'll discuss? Well, we polled a bunch of our top Catholic sources and top political sources, and time and time again, three big topics came up. Number one, you mentioned income inequality. It's a top issue for Pope Francis as well as for President Obama. Uh, President Obama has called Pope Francis a quote-unquote soulful messenger on this topic. He's even quoted him in a recent speech on income inequality. And so that's one topic that's definitely going to be discussed. Number two, people say, is the, the peace in the Middle East and particularly in Syria. As we know, John Kerry is working on hammering out a, a permanent peace solution between Israel and Palestinians. And a, a papal endorsement of that, uh, of that peace deal would be a huge game changer, people say. The Pope is expected, of course, to visit the Holy Land himself in May. And number three is an area where you might find some disagreement between Pope Francis and President Obama, and that's the Obamacare's controversial uh, contraceptive mandate. Yeah. Now, the Catholic bishops and other church groups are fiercely fighting that in court and in the, public re the realm of public opinion. The Vatican's new Secretary of State brought that up with John Kerry at a meeting last week, and we can expect that to be on the agenda again, the meeting between President Obama and Pope Francis. Um, you know, it's obvious to realize that, of course, the, the President's meeting with Pope Benedict will be different from, from the current Pope. They're very different Popes, and, and when you think of Pope Francis, he's known to be, you know, he's a little unpredictable, this man. He, he, he embraced that man with the facial deformity. Remember, he invited the, uh, some homeless men to, to his birthday party. What should President Obama, you think, Daniel, be, be prepared for? Well, you know, Pope Francis has certainly kept me on my toes as a member of the media. <laughs> and so we appreciate that. It's fun to cover. It's, he's really fun to cover. But if I was President Obama, I would say, you know, expect the unexpected. Hmm. And, you know, when Pope Francis has met with, with other world leaders, like the president of, of Russia, with, with Netanyahu from Israel, People have described him as fairly feisty. So I would expect you know, him to get down to the weeds, really talk about nuts and bolts stuff with Obama, hmm. maybe press him on, on issues like uh, debt, uh, releasing the debt for, for countries in the developing world. You know, so it, it's really tough to predict, but I think that this pope really wants to talk about substantial stuff and not just have kind of a ceremonial meeting.